Hey! In part one, I showed you details of how I scoop and spread my hair for the first two weeks. I also went over why I do this regimen. So if you haven't seen it already, make sure to watch it before moving on to this video. So let's pick up right where we left off. I did the third session on November 7th. I did pretty much the same exact thing I did in the first and second sessions. But this time, due to the sebum coverage I already have in my roots and parts of my middle section, I only added a little bit of spritz to the middle section, removed shed hair, and just lightly fluffed my ends. I did the fourth and final scoop and spread session on November 14th. As part of my complete hair type, I naturally produce a good amount of sebum. So by the fourth week, both my roots and the middle section are covered. FYI, I spent a lot of time in my garden under the sun this week, so my hair got super frizzy. But due to my sebum coverage, frizzy doesn't mean tangled. Hence why after a week of not touching my hair, when I undo my twist, it just glides apart. I already have a perfect product in my hair, so no product, not even mine, is needed. So I use just a little bit of plain old water to help loosen things up, so I can scoop up even more sebum to thicken up my coverage and slide it even further down my hair. Sebum hasn't quite reached my ends yet, so I add a little more water to it and some oil just for insurance sake. Oh, one more tip. If your hair is super dense and highly textured like mine, it's good practice to let your roots breathe by starting your twist or braids further away from your scalp. It gets rid of tension and gives your sebum more room to freely slide down on its own a little bit. Sebum coverage makes your hair feel so soft and lubricated, almost like it's wet. You can literally feel the moisture in your hair. By the fifth week, I usually have full sebum coverage and don't need any product, just water. To be honest, having high sebum production is a blessing, but it usually also means acne prone skin. So even though my hair loves this, my skin said nope. So in an effort to save my skin, I start the process over again after the fourth or even up to the sixth week. But everyone's different, so I encourage you to keep going and see how far you can take it. Trust me, you'll learn a lot about your hair in the process. With full sebum coverage, your only concerns will be not to let the sebum build up on your scalp or dry out on your hair strands. So keep an eye on it and stay consistent with scoop and spread sessions. If you find yourself overwhelmed with too much coverage, you can either start the process over again like I do or wash your hair under the shower with just warm water. I actually ended up putting my hair into braids on November 16th. As you can see, as the sebum coverage builds up, your curl pattern becomes more defined and your hair maintains a more consistent level of moisture. With your shed hair out and your hair stretched, it almost becomes breakage proof. This is my hair regimen for now. As my hair grows and continues to bulk up, the weight of it will stretch my hair. So I'm probably gonna change things up, but I'll keep you posted. As a recap, between blowouts, my game plan is to keep my scalp clean, extend my stretch, remove shed hair, keep my hair moisturized and well lubricated, and prevent knots. Check, 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 and check. FYI, whether you scoop and spread or not, massaging a few drops of tea tree essential oil on your scalp from time to time is good practice. So that's it for the heat series. I hope you liked it. Give away, give away, give away, give away. Let's see if you've been listening. Here's the giveaway question. You have three blow dryers, a basic blow dryer, a ceramic, and a titanium one. Which one is more likely to be the cheapest? Which one is the safest? And which one produces the best results? You can find the answer in this heat series. Okay, here's how to qualify. First, you must be subscribed to the Green Beauty channel here on YouTube and leave your answer below in the comment section of this video. Then follow the Green Beauty channel page on Instagram 
and leave your YouTube name in the comment section of this post that's up right now. That's it. The winner will get everything. The eight ounce real protein treatment, the 16 ounce pH stabilizing spritz, 19 ounce herbal hot oil treatment, the organic tea tree essential oil, application bottle, and the pH testing strips. And will be announced December 20th on the Green Beauty Channel Instagram page. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.